Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out analog signals for Mitsubishi Alpha 2 controller. Same principle, it will be applying to Alpha 1 controller or Alpha controller as well. And have a look at how they are wired, how they actually work. And uh, for our testing today, we're going to be using these kind of temperature uh, modules that you can buy uh, for the controller. It's got a lot of uh, additional cards that you can have, but sort of to give you a good principle of how of that works, will be a I'll be using these uh, for it because the analog inputs for these controllers are zero to ten volts. And, and it pretty much automatically works as soon as it detects the voltage. So as soon as the voltage goes past, I think it's 15 volts supply, it casts as a digital input. And if it's a voltage within zero to 10 volts, that'll be clear, it, it will see that as an analog input and it will be the, uh, reading that as a, a value that is going to be transferred into the controller and you can uh, read and do with that value whatever you please and with uh, these uh, cards in here it will uh, help basically take the reading from our temperature probes convert that into zero to ten, uh, zero to ten volts and transfer that data into the controller in a form of a uh, temperature reading so uh, by by uh, scaling uh, as it would be for that specific uh, thermocouple which is quite smart there's not much you need to do it does everything for you so i'm going to explain you that in a minute how that works so yeah so this is what we're going to do all the manuals and the related videos there's one video beforehand which we did already the wiring with the ios and things like that i'll leave that in the description below and other than that let's get started Here we are, all wired in, ready to go. So this is our temperature probe in here, as you can do. Woo. This is a PT100 temperature probe, which is wired in L1+, uh, L1-, minus, and then we have an I1-. Uh, and there you can have two probes if you wish. The red one, usually, usually PT100 probes comes with red and two blue wires. So red goes in there and then two blue bars uh, goes in through uh, in uh, there. So in L, uh, L1 minus and I1 minus. So this guy in here, I, do, I don't really fully understand why that is there, but uh, I believe this is for the scaling and for the temperature range you're working within. Standard uh, is, this, this, is the resistance in this guy in here that if you want to arrange it differently, I do believe you can do use this... Uh, uh, uh what's it what's it called the uh, jumpers in here so to adjust it to what ranges you are working with it so i believe that's what that that's what it's for i'm pretty confident that that is the case so uh from there on because we're going to be working on the standard so our standard is 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 literally a uh, line in there we're going to leave it at that from there on e converts that signal is coming from this temperature probe resistance e converts that into a voltage so you can see in here, now the card is powered up already. So here we are, there's a meter down here. So what we can do in here, we're gonna put the signal, uh, the probes on here. As you can see, probably not. Uh, as you can see, I have 3.302 volts. It's a very fine voltage going on. So let me put my hand on it, as you see. So now voltage starts going up because the resistance in the probe is changing. So that's pretty much what is happening there. And it takes that value and it sends it into whatever you have, uh, whichever uh, input you have chose to. As you can see down there, the wiring wise, you have to have a DC power supply your own. So make sure that uh, I would uh, I would advise the DC power supply comes, comes from exactly the same source as the, the as, as the, your main controller plus the minus um, uh, v minus and uh, v minus one v minus two has to have a neutral uh, negative coming from the power supply again from the same power supply and then from there on the, the v plus is the one that's outcoming this is the output so then you send it into whatever input you are using so that's pretty much uh, how that would uh, when it comes down to a uh, wiring so from there on so you can more or less what you can do you can jump on adder Let's start from scratch. So you just click any of the buttons. Once you are in stop mode, you can go into the, go all the way down the bottom, click again, and then uh, keep going down till you receive uh, analog in. And from there on, as you can see down there, my I01 says uh, PT100. So basically, basically by normal, if you go in here, let's just click OK. If you go into mode, and then you set normal, 
when you click normal it will it will basically use well I didn't accept it did they uh, whoops. okay okay here we go on the normal mode it will take 0 to 10 volts and whatever the value is giving you in uh, in your software or in a program that's the value we're going to be getting we're going to check that out in a minute it will be different values how you how you want to scale it's pretty much like a scaling thing so uh for the pt for for for, for uh k k k type of uh, temperature probes scaling will be different than uh, than uh, pt100 scaling so mitsubishi more or less done all the work for you all you need to do is says is it a normal mode yeah it's just basically you have a receiving zero to ten volts standard or you say, no, 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 I want that to be a uh, read out as a temperature. So it will more or less uh, adjust that uh, scaling for you once as soon as you select that uh, form uh, what it is. So then in here you can go and offset. If your uh, reading is out, uh, basically you need to use some form of a uh, uh, other probe, which you can test what temperature actually is and check on your screen, which I'm going to show in a minute. Is it, is it matching this guy as well? If it doesn't, you can fine tune it in here get it down to the exact where it needs to be and from that point it will be a more or less taken to the readings correctly so uh, that's pretty much uh, that's what uh, offset find means just in case your readout is in uh, wrong position as you can see down here it's got all uh, all inputs in here and in there you can as well do your uh, scaling uh, what's going to be Celsius or Fahrenheit so that's for that and that ladies and gentlemen that's really the, uh, what there is from there on you are need to be a uh, jumping on a computer and and on a, and start programming and and uh, that's exactly what we're going to do now let's jump on a computer and show how you can read out these values in software or on this little screen here there we go so uh, let's load up alpha Alpha programming. Here we go. Don't forget, this software is free. Don't do watch the previous video uh, in a, in a, in a, in a description, so where I actually show you how to get the software. So let's start a new project. Ours is 15. ALJ is two. Uh, there we go. So there we are. So uh, it's actually quite straightforward. So what we're gonna do in here, because we are reading our PT100, so might as well choose that one and put that in here. So now, just before we get any other programming going on, so uh, once we a uh, uh, go for the controller and uh, right to controller, I don't know if our uh, com port is incorrect. So let's go for a manager, device manager, and check out our com because I am using a serial uh, bridge, so converter. So as com port four. Uh, configure it so let's change that to four there we go so and, and now right to controller so we're gonna do we're gonna run start as well so there you go so uh, as you can see here's the value this is uh, hopefully you can see that so there's a value that's pretty much what is going on now at the moment in temperature probe because I already had adjusted my fine-tune so I'm, I in my uh, 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 workshop in here is 22 degrees which is exactly what it is so uh so yeah this is where you straight away to sense that value and all the inputs that will receive these kind of signals so uh will be as uh, uh, zero to ten volt signals will be uh, as soon as you put some sort of a, a reading which you want to read there's a couple of them uh it will show you some value so at the moment i am 20 it's just 225 so that's 22 degrees so uh, let's leave that. So so we uh, so we create a little bit of small program. So what we could do in here, we're gonna go and find a display. We're gonna we want that temperature to be read this value. Let's say we want that value to uh, be displayed. No, it's not in here. It's in the function blocks, isn't it? So you just keep going down. Find here we go. Display. Let's put the display in here. So we're gonna say send this data into display in here, and we need to sort of activate the V01 display. And what we're gonna do in here because my input's been wired into six, seven, eight. Is it? Let's have a look at it. Six, seven, eight. So we're gonna use our little input station to activate the that screen, so we can see that value. So uh, let's go for the inputs and then go back on the top, grab, ah, that'll do, uh, switch, 
switch you go for functions grab a set reset why not and then let's say set with this switch and reset with ooh. and reset with that switch and once that's come on activate b01 screen here we go so that'll do and that's pretty much what we need to that's pretty much just a program which we're going to be creating so this video doesn't drag on so we can have a quick readout of what it is that we want to do so so let's uh transfer that in a control i think we need to stop the controller first remember he likes being stopped here we go otherwise he won't transfer so let's transfer that one and let's run it uh don't try that. yes so here we go there's our screens down there oh my camera is playing up so uh can we as you can see down here as you can see down here if i flip the switch now on this program in here it will be going to that screen so well, let's take that off as you can see, because I'm saying that uh, uh, once you activate this uh, signal, it will activate uh, this B01 screen and it will change the screen on your camera, as you can see down there. We're going to check that out in a minute. There we go. And there we go. So that's what that will do regarding when it comes to program. Guys, there's so much more. From there on, you can take this information from this readouts in here and you can do a whole load. There's a whole lot of things you can do. It all depends on what you want to do with it and things like that. So that will do for that. So let's jump back up on our a uh, uh, camera and see uh, what happens if you change uh, the sort of uh, a translation of uh, these analog signals differently here we are so let's first uh, stop uh, let's have a look at it because i'm using these switches in here so you guess this switch in here well you, you basically start stopping there which is why I my uh, my standard inputs and what i'm going to do in here if i want to jump to that screen i just click that one and this is this is the readout what we have now which is 22 22 and a half degrees which is exactly what's in there, what it is in my uh, workshop in here and where's that probe in there as you can see the probe in here we put the hand on it and as you can see it starts reading it's got starts going up as a temperature rises so that's pretty much and from there on guys you can do whatever you want with this information so uh so let's see what happens if you don't uh, what 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 the normal signal would look like without actually telling the controller is pt100 signal that you need to translate this to so for that uh we just uh, remove uh, remove that one then we need to stop it by stopping it just if you want to get in the menu just click escape and okay together and then go back up and a uh, click stop uh, so let's go down to a uh, as i oh yeah, analog in and let's change that to be as a normal input let's go into mode it's like normal standard zero to ten volts okay and let's escape let's escape let's escape so and uh, and uh, oh yeah we need to uh, put in run mode don't we then put in run mode here we go so and a uh, let's put our screen as you can see that is read out as 1772 is absolutely different different reading so it's scaled differently so uh, so do make sure whichever card you're working in here whatever values you're working with to make sure you, there is a help for temperature controls but for everything else, you'll be standard 0 to 10 volts. And these are the values you're going to be able to work with. So that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude this video. So hopefully this is giving you a good idea how to process analog values, analog signals with Alpha 2 controller and get you going. So uh, that will do. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like. And uh, do subscribe if you like and want to support us uh, what we are doing in here. So yeah, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.